there's a lady uh, when there was a day you woke up in the house you find it's like the way I don't know how to call them like feces in the house the wind inside the house as I'm saying there's a monetary spirit on each and every one of us you woke up you find it's like someone went to toilet in your house Please come. Whew. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm saying there's a lady here. You woke up and you find some funny things. Stop there. Stop there. Lift her up. We're going to get someone to help us. There's another one who stays in Pretoria. You are true there. I'm seeing another one who's, who lives in Pretoria. I'm seeing this is a spirit of death because sometimes these people, they are also sent these snakes in the house. <sighs> Your people... Every time when we, we call you out, you must not be afraid, huh? Are you hearing me? Because when we are calling you, it's because the grace of God is there. So when you're afraid and say, ah, what is it that people are going to say? You, I'm, I'm going to pray for you, but I was searching for you, this one. I was not searching for you, Ceci. I was, I was searching for this one of Pretoria. I'm also seeing snakes. My sister, there's a spirit. Oh, you hear me? Yes. That visits you all the time. It's true. Huh? Yes. And this spirit is also molesting you. Oh, you hear me? It's true. Because I'm seeing it's like the same spirit is using different faces to come to you. Huh? Yes. And now there are things now that are coming out of your private. Yes. Huh? It's true. I'm approach. seeing a liquid. Yes. Huh? That is colorless. Yes. So these are the spirits. These are monitoring spirits. That's why every time when you meet a partner, stand up straight. When you meet a partner, you end up encountering problems. It's true. Oh, you know what I mean? Yes. It's like they just come in to use you and off, off they go. It's and true. now you're sick now. Yes, it's huh? true. It's true. I'm seeing a sickness of blood. Uh, yeah. huh? It's true, man of So God. today, this monitoring spirit will leave you. Thank you, Jesus. you demon come out out you demon leave that stomach out out Come out! Come out! You demon! Out! 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 Leave that private, you demon! Leave that private, you dirty spirit. Come out! 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 Tayini Mohale ke tswa duduza prophecy e bolela ka nna is true ke net every day ke tswa ke tswa toilet e bula maybe ka past 3 maybe na ko ka past 2 and for how long has this been happening and how was it affecting you mm e ka no ba le ke na le boma 2 years mm 
every day every day child tse ya bulwa nako nngwe ke twa misito e tsama ka montong mm so ke be ke phela moya ka o bophela o le go fast mara no really deliver ntse ke twa ke la right and the man of god also touched on the fact uh, that uh, this spirit is also affecting you in your marriage it is true na le monna ka re twa no botse ka ka yona spirit se nako nngwe monna ka o o no gona o and were you praying that God should resolve this issue for you? And how are you feeling and what are you believing God for? right. I want to pray for you. Oh, you me? Because on you is two cases. Amen. There's issue of snakes. Yes, there. And there's issue of finding these things also. Yes, prophet. Oh, you me? Yes, prophet. There's a monetary spirit okay. because of this person that has betrayed you. Yes. But you must not worry. Today, God will fight for you. Amen. Oh, you me? Thank you. Out! My name is Eunice, I'm from Pretoria. The prophecy I received about uh, feces and snakes, it's, it's true, because where I used to stay, in, when I was staying in Pretz, I used to find feces all the time next to my door. And then I found three black mambas, like uh, the first two, the first one went inside my house, and then the, the other one came after two months, also in the house. And then the third one, I found it in my cupboard. So it was all uh, same snakes, and when I was asking, like people who are staying there before me, they would tell me that there's no snakes there. So they wouldn't understand why am I getting snakes in my house all the time. And I, I, I confirm that the prophecy is true. And I thank God for, for this prophecy. I thank God that uh, I have received my deliverance today. And how was this affecting you? It was affecting me. Uh, uh, let me tell you about the, the issue of feces. Every time when I'm supposed to have an event, uh, that morning when I wake up, I'll find feces on my door. Every time when there's an event, I find feces on the door. And the man of God also spoke about uh, these things that are bringing the, the spirit of death, of which is true, because the, the, the first snake that I found in the house, after killing that snake, uh, somebody passed away from, from my family. The, the following day, uh, we, uh, I received a phone call that my cousin passed away. And again, uh, two months back, I buried my mom as well. Yes. And were you praying for God's intervention concerning these challenges you were facing? Yes, I have been praying for God's intervention. And every time I was praying about it, I was asking that God can locate me. Because uh, it's, it was worrying me that in the whole complex, I was the only person that was experiencing those uh, challenges. And uh, it has brought a lot of, of backwardness of delay in most of my things, in actually in every area of my life, yes. And now that you were located, prayed for for deliverance, how are you feeling and what are you believing God for? I'm very happy about my deliverance and the prophecy and I, I thank God for today that God, if something has been seen by God, God has dealt with this and I believe uh, that uh, my breakthrough has come. I believe that um, everything that was taken away from me that I lost because of all the challenges that I went through, I believe God that everything will come back to me. Amen. Dear people, you need to break the spirit of the church. Oh, you know what I mean? You need to do what? Like to break the spirit the of the church. Yes. Because now, as I was talking about a monetary spirit, this is a church of waters, huh? yeah. where they are using their funny, funny things. Yeah. So they are monitoring you that none of you must ever be married. Oh, you know what I mean? Amen. Oh, and I'm just seeing Captain Park. There's issue of Captain... Who's in Captain Park? Huh? I think my younger sister. Huh? I think my younger sister. Is in Captain Park? Yeah. Because this whole spirit has affected the whole family. Oh, you know what I mean? Mm. Well, now you just have to stay with people, no marriage, nothing. 
So you saw the, the wedding of today? Yes. Did you see it? Yeah. Huh? Yes. Because both of you, you're experiencing the same problem of a spirit that comes to you. It's oh, you true. Know Amen. And this spirit is using you also. Amen. Spiritual husband. You speak. Come out! Come out! You demon. Come out! And I want to tell you, who's for the one? Huh? Huh? Who's for the one? Yes. It's me. It's you. Uh, huh? Yes. Before you reach 43, there will be a great testimony. Yeah. My name is Talula Aurora. I'm from Limpopo, but now we are residing in Highlands North, and the person next to me is my sister, Fina. And today the man of God uh, gave a prophecy to the both of you. Can you tell us the prophecy you received and also confirm it? I confirm that the man of God prophesies to us about the spirit of water that is following us. Yes, it's true. I agree with the prophecy of today. Yes, we've been followed by the spirit of, of water. That's true. And uh, he's been monitoring us. He's been monitoring our life. We can't get married. Like, with myself, like... If I work, if I, I don't work January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and then I work August, September, October, November, I don't work, then I don't know what is happening. Now I have my license is five years. Next year, May on the 5th, my license will, is going to expire, and I don't have my own car, and I can't even drive. I even forget about driving. It's, that is the way the Spirit has been following us. Yeah. And how was this affecting you? It's, with me, it affected my life, the whole of my 44 years of my life. The whole of my 44 years of life has been affected badly, very, very badly. Until my sister introduced me to this church, I see changes in my life. Uh, can you also introduce yourself and also confirm the prophecy? My name is Fina Magola. I confirm the prophecy being true because the spirit of water has been following us from a long time ago, even now. But today I'm very happy because man of God sees the problem and he prayed for us. And I believe that that spirit is no longer following us anymore. Yeah. And we thank God for us to be located today by the man of God to prophesy us about this spirit. This follow this spirit that has been following us and we thank God because today the spirit is gone forever yes. and the man of God also went to say that uh, by 43 you'll be getting married is some, is something will happen because now you're 41 is that true yeah it's true he, t he was telling the truth now I'm 41 and I believe what he said it will come to pass and how are you feeling now that the man of God has located uh, your family uh, concerning this issue of not getting married? I'm very, very happy because now I know my direction. I know where I'm going. And I know what must I pray for because I know what God say. He never lie. What he tell us is the truth. Now I know that we have a good a future and a, a good direction now we know what we must pray for and we know what is making us to be like this and we know, we believe that what god says today is the end of the monitoring of that spirit that has been following us the spirit of water yeah we thank god for that amen thank you i want to pray for you oh you hear me amen but from today you need to change your life amen oh you hear me Yes. Because there was a funny life that you used to live before. That's true. Are you hearing me? Yes. So now the same demon is catching up with you. Amen. Huh? Jesus. Of being surrounded by people that are not Christians. Yes, that's true. Drinking, doing all these funny things. Jesus. Huh? Yes, that's so true. So from today, you must live a right life and God will give you a better job. Amen. You're Jesus. blessed. Amen. My name is Santa. Originally, I'm from Gyal, but, but I stay around the, the, the Libuing here at Tempis. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Okay, the prophecy I received today, uh, I confirm it to be true. 
because uh, sometimes I find myself drinking, smoking, you know, not knowing why I'm doing that. So I want to confirm that it is true because uh, where I live, there is a lot of people who are not saved. As the man of God says that uh, I'm surrounded by the, 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 the wrong people. I confirm, I confirm it to be true because I, I stay with them. So even uh, I can say uh, maybe last week, two, two weeks back, uh, when he said there is a spirit that are after me, I, I, that, that is true because even two weeks back, when those people smoking around me, I, I, will, like, I will feel like I, I, I can smoke. But I, I, I was busy fighting in my heart, telling myself that I, I can't smoke it again and I, I don't want to drink again. So I believe as from today, my life will change. And for how long have you been smoking and drinking? No, like drinking, I can say many years back, but smoking, I'm not smoking. Sometimes I'll find myself smoking, you know. And how, and how was it affecting you? Yes, it was affecting me, more especially when it comes to prayers. I, I love prayers. I love to pray all the time. I love to read the Bible. But when I started to smoke, I will end up maybe one week not praying, even to read my Bible, not reading my Bible. So I can say it was affecting me like that. And now that they've prayed for you, how are you feeling and what are you believing God for? No, uh, what I'm believing God for is... God is going to help me. I believe that. And I believe that uh, I will come back with a testimony. I will live right because my life, I, I love Jesus. To be honest, I love Jesus. Yes. But, and then a uh, long time back, you will find myself going back, go, go to church again, going back. My life, is, it was complicated. So I believe as from now that I will be, I will be okay. My sister, where you stay? Huh? Where you're staying, I saw this, that one. I saw a funny place. I'm just seeing, it's like I'm seeing a road. This road, you turn right, I'm seeing McDonald's on the left. Huh? I, I stay in Midrand. Yes, I'm seeing McDonald's on the left, you go down. Yes. Huh? Yes. And I'm seeing a complex here called Sun Ridge. Yes, I see. Huh? Yes. And I'm seeing you turning right. Huh? Yes. The complex is on the other side. You're on the other side. Yes. Huh? Yes. And on the gate here, when you enter on the gate, you go on the right. Huh? Yes. And I'm seeing going to a smaller gate here. Listen, God will bless you. <laughs> and I believe you people will get out of this because it's also written. I'm seeing written Sun Rich Heights. Yes. Huh? Yes. Listen, there's a victory that is coming. Your enemies shall fall. I come from Midrand as the man of God they prophesied to me and tell me see McDonald and where I live on the right is St. Rich Heights where we, we live and then which is everything that he says is totally true I live in Midrand St. Rich Heights we've been living there for it's, it's been long we've been living there and then man of God says indeed the name of the Lord will be glorified and then he's seeing us moving out from there and which is true for the couple of months we've been trying to move there yes and how was this affecting you mm, it's, it was not we didn't take it serious but indeed we wanted to move out because the, we wanted our own place so indeed well, everything that he says is true yes and now that they've prayed for you what is it that you're believing god for i believe that god has see us through and then everything he says indeed it shall come to pass and then um, the, the name of the lord will be glorified amen Connie that i'm searching for he's staying with a, a boyfriend and there's no marriage. It's you, Sissy. No? You, all of you, let me pray for you. You must go and study. You know? And you, you're, you're, you're healed. Eh? Oh, you know me? You're healed.
Mama, where is your husband? Can you call your husband for me? My sister. Doren Matebula. Amen. You have got a demon, huh? Oh, you know me? Amen. You have got a demon that is making you to suffer. Yeah, I'm suffering. And now, after I pray for you, I believe there's a breakthrough that God will bring. Amen. Oh, you know me? Amen. This issue of staying with people without marriage is becoming a problem. Oh, you know what I mean? Amen. And now the same demon now, it's affecting your blood now. So, but I believe by God's grace, your life will be restored. Let's believe there's, there's a testimony that is coming to you. Amen. Out! Out! Bring her here. Out. The spiritual husband. My sister, you? My name is Constance. I'm coming from Ivory Park. The prophets that I received today, is a, they say they need someone that is staying with a boyfriend. I'm staying with a boyfriend and I'm not working. And I'm suffering. I suffer to support my kids. Because I don't get a job. Everything is a mess in my life. And for how long? I don't know for how long. I'm not working. And I'm stressed about my kids because I've been trying to build a home for them. But I, I couldn't afford because I don't have money. I'm not working. If I get a job, I work maybe two weeks. They chase me. And how was this affecting you? It was affecting me too much because even people, they are laughing at me that you are going to church, but you have got nothing. Everyone is laughing at me. And now that they've prayed for you, what is it that you believe God will do for you? I believe today God has answered my prayers and I believe today is my day. Everything will change about my life. I'm seeing you, there are dreams. Huh? Yes, man of God. I'm seeing dreams. Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes, I'm, I'm getting confused these days because you're getting they're confusion. too confusing. Yes. Huh? yes. But you also need to forgive some people. Huh? Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen, yes. Because this God. issue of Joe, 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 Joe. Amen. Huh? Amen. This issue of Joe, I'm speaking abbreviation, Joe. Yes, huh? man of God. Oh, you know hear I me? Mean? Yes, man of God. So you must not worry. This confusion must leave you. Amen. Because it's affecting you now. You don't know whether you are taking the right decision or not. Amen. Oh, you know hear I me? Mean? Amen. So, but you must not worry. Amen. So this issue of dreaming, this dreaming this person, dreaming another one is... It's a demon. Yes, man of God, the attacks are too much. Since oh, I came man. here, it's like I don't have direction. I don't know what's happening. So today I'm giving you direction. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. So today I'm telling you, whoever that comes to dream, I mean to your dreams trying to attack you. Amen. May the living God Amen. fight for you. Amen. And there's issues of business. Ceci? There's issues of business. <laughs> yes, man, of course. Huh? Yes. But there's a problem of finance. Yes. Huh? Yes. So don't worry. There's a testimony that is coming. Thank you. Out! 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 And I didn't mention anyone's name. I only spoke small. So you must not fight us. My name is Deborah Malema. I come from Pretoria. The man of God prophesied about me dreaming bad dreams. And it's really true because I'm dreaming a lot of things that are confusing. I can't even explain. And can you try to explain this kind of weird dreams that you've been having? I can't even explain because they're just mixed. It's a lot of things. When I wake up in the morning, I can't even remember. And he again prophesied about uh, Joe. He's saying, Joe, that I must forgive Joe. So, actually, I know why am I... Uh, he said I must forgive him, but I understand why is he saying so. Because of what he has said to me, like he has cursed me, but by the grace of God and uh, what I've seen here in Charis, even the message that 
daddy's preaching is building me and is giving me strength. So I believe in God that he, he will never win of what he's thinking that I will leave the charis. But I believe in God that this is the church that God has chosen for me to come and grow up spiritually. How long have you, has it been happening and how was it affecting you? Um, the dreams, before I used to dream things that would be happening. Uh, but since this attack has started, I just dream things that I don't even understand because I used to see things in, the, in dreams and the following day they'll be happening. So I knew that I have a gift from God, but now, and he, even Joe knows. So he, I think, by the way, he promised that he will go to the mountains and pray and fight that I don't make it. So I believe that all those attacks is because of that. And now that you've received prayers and deliverance, what is it that you believe God is going to do for you? I believe this is my time because I've been praying about it, that God must locate me through his servants so that they could help me in uh, getting delivered in this problem because it's affecting uh, a lot of my life. But most I want to pray for your marriage. Yes. Oh, you hear me? Yes. Because there's a spirit yes. that is busy with your marriage. Yeah, oh, you that's true. Me? And now the same spirit is the one that is bringing disease in the family. Bring it, bring it. Yes. And now I'm seeing the same spirit go into your workplace. Yeah, it's true. Three months ago, I nearly lost my job. That's why I'm telling you this. I'm seeing the same spirit go into your workplace. And I'm seeing the same spirit want to kick you out of your workplace. Oh, you hear me? Yes, it's true. So now you need to come back and devote yourself. Oh, you hear me? You yes. need to be more serious the way you were before. With God. Because this is the plan of Satan, of dropping you from something to zero. It's true. So today, God will help you. Oh, you hear me? God will help you. Amen. And may your marriage stand. Amen. Out! 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 Eh, when's that? What? When's that? What? What? When's that? Because, eh, uh, I'm seeing there's a group of people. Huh? There, there's a group of people where you're working. Yes. They're standing against you. I know. So, when is that? What? When is that? What? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? So, he went man. He went man. What? He went man. So, you want them to separate? Hmm? You want them to separate? So, I want to tell you sometimes you need to keep the grace that God has given you. Because if you don't keep the grace, Tell your neighbor and say, can you keep the grace that you've been given? You, you, keep, the, you, you, you keep the grace by becoming a sub, submissive. And don't worry, God will fight for it. Because I just saw a group of people. And one of these people I'm just hearing, there's, there's also someone called Richard, who's also a problem on top there. So, but I want to tell you, today, God will fight for you. Out! 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 Leave that stomach. You demon. And those things that you put on the legs, they take them out. Out! In Jesus, my name.
My name is Donald Matebula. The woman standing beside me is my wife, Connie Matebula. Okay. I want to confirm the professor of today uh, because there are a group of people in my workplace that want me out of my work. Indeed, yes, three months ago I nearly lost my job for no reasons. So the, 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 the prophecy is, is true. And how is this affecting you? It is affecting us a lot because since then, even my performance at work is, is, is low because I'm no longer being motivated. I, I felt that, yes, there are some people who doesn't want me at work. So that's why it has affected me a lot. And now that they've located you and also prayed for you, what is it that you believe God will do for you? We believe God will sort out everything. We are happy now because as long as the man of God has uprooted the problem, everything will be okay. And I believe at work I will gain favor again.